All right, clock is rutted. All right, so Representative Deb Haaland of the Laguna Pueblo in New Mexico is now confirmed as the first Native American Secretary of the Interior in spite of Republican objections that Holland, an actual living, breathing Native American, is, quote, too radical to oversee a department that houses the BIA, the Bureau, Bureau of Indian Affairs. The vote was 51 to 40, and this is a monumental and long overdue moment in history. After the confirmation, member of the Pueblo Nation's Daphne Poston declared, Quote, Indian country has shouted from the valleys, from the mountaintops, that it's time. It's overdue, end quote. In addition to being an indigenous woman, Helen is also a single mother and received public assistance prior to completing her law degree. Holland has referred to climate change as the challenge of our lifetime, which prompted Republicans like Steve Daines of Montana and others entangled with the fossil fuel industry to rail against her nomination using the old quote, it'll take away our jobs, end quote, should Holland do away with things like fracking and further construction of oil pipelines. Claims about mass job losses Danes and other others have claimed have already been debunked on several occasions. So congratulations to the new Secretary of the Interior and member of the Pueblo Nation, Deb Holland. I love this so much. I love this story yes. so much. Now here is the icky part about this story as I unpack it out, which is uh, she was confirmed 50 to 41. That means nine Republican senators punted on the vote once yes. she got the 50 because they weren't brave enough to put their no vote on paper and instead just did the abstain. Once they got to the 50 and a 50-50 tie, if that was the case, they would have brought uh, over uh, Vice President uh, Kamala Harris and she would have done the tie-breaking vote on this. So mm -hmm. I am thrilled. It's taken 171 years, but my goodness, a person who is Native American is in charge of the Native homeland soil. I love it. Yes. 